Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So welcome to the second uh, uh, part of the video. Uh, in the first video, I have explained how to characterize the nanomaterials by using the thermogravimetric analysis data. And in this video, I will explain how to calculate the kinetic and the thermodynamic parameter. So let uh, again start uh, with the, the paper which I, I am using as a reference. So I have explained uh, how to uh, factorize by using this data. Now I am going to explain the, the kinetic and the thermodynamics parameter. So this is the uh, TGA plot or the TGA plot uh, here for the end transient sample. Uh, this is taken as a reference. Over here, the first waste, uh, weight loss is from uh, 50 to 250 uh, degree centigrade, and the second is 250 to 350 degree centigrade. We have used as a reference because this is the removal of this molecule C2H4 due to the presence of this effectant, and then the third weight loss was the 350 to uh, actually uh, to 570 degree centigrade. So there are the three uh, weight loss, mainly three weight loss over here. The first is the, uh, we called it the dehydration. And then the second one is the combustion. The third one is the, uh, actually the condensation process. Everything is explained over here in this paper. So I will calculate uh, on all these three steps uh, for the thermodynamics parameter, activation energy, change in enthalpy, change in uh, the free energy and change in entropy uh, for all of the three phases over here. So let's start with the first the kinetics on all the three phases. And this is very simple. Actually, you have to uh, use this equation. This is Lm1 minus x equal to minus kd. So uh, when you plot for each of the, because there is, uh, I will explain how to calculate this one, but here just finish with the the graph. This is the ln one minus x on the y axis and the t on the x axis, and you will get uh, minus k directly from the, uh, uh, this is the, uh, uh, from the slope that will give you the, the rate constant value. So here even you can plot an origin or you can take this as uh, 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 one phase you can plot on the axle by using the axle and this is the second this would be the third. So I have taken as 50 to 250 and then 250 to 350 and then 350 to 570 as explained before. And you can individually, when you plot, you will directly get the value from the slope. And, and that will give you the value of the rate constant. And when you have the rate constant, this is the, this will confirm, the state line will confirm the, this is the first order kinetics. And for the first order kinetics, you can use this simple equation to calculate the half-life of the, uh, this one phase each of the phase, which which are three over here. And this is all about the kinetics. You can calculate the rate constant and you can calculate the half-life. The second important calculation, again, I, I will explain how to calculate all these uh, parameters. The second one is the, the to calculate the thermodynamics parameters. And uh, we can use the Gauss and uh, Redfield model. And this is the equation. And again, this is the uh, state line equation. Having this is the y-axis. All this is the uh, intercept, and uh, e over r is the slope, and one over t is the x-axis. So when you plot on the y and the one over t on the x-axis, you will get the value of the slope e a over r, and the value of the intercept from here. And from the slope, you can calculate the activation energy. And from here, actually, you put the activation energy over here and get the value of A, where it is the pre-exponential factor. And because this is required, 
for the further calculation. So uh, briefly, uh, what are the parameters over here is the pre exponential factor. Beta, uh, beta is the heating rate and which is in our case, that is the 20 degree centigrade per minute. R is the gas constant having the value of 8.3143 joule per mole per Kelvin is the activation energy, T is the temperature. So you can plot and get the value of the rest of the parameters. So now I'm going to show you how to calculate all these calculation and to calculate the kinetics and the thermodynamics parameter. So let's start to use the actual sheet over here. This is the, the same the paper. This is the, we are using the ports uh, and uh, Redfern model to calculate the thermodynamics and the kinetics. So, what is uh, this? Is the uh, again the main equation as I have explained? This is your all is the y, this is your x, uh, sorry, c, and this is e, a over r is your m, and x is 1 over t, and uh, this is the intercept. That means this hole is the intercept, and this is the the slope, which is the activation energy, and uh, when you you can get the activation energy, you, you have to multiply r with the, the slope, and r value is given over here. So let's start uh, with the first the calculation, and then I will move to the the other thermodynamics parameter. What is the uh, changes over here? Uh, this is the temperature uh, which is going to increase as given uh, uh, in the TGA curve and you have to convert into the Kelvin because this is given in the Celsius and then you have to divide by 1 because this is the, your x axis is 1 divided by T. So 1 divided by T is this. Of course, you can use this as a uh, number over here, uh, uh, you can uh, uh, plot by this, but it is in fraction and the value will give you, uh, let's suppose if the energy value is joule and if I multiply the thousand, it, it will directly convert into the kilojoule. So there is nothing is changed over here. I'm just multiplying this, uh, uh, the value with 1000 to convert into the more suitable number. So that will give you the more uh, actually the, the good shape of the graph. Otherwise, there is no change on the values, whatever you will determine through this graph. So t square, I have taken as a t square because this will be required uh, whenever you calculate the a, which is the pre exponential factor over here because here you would need the t square. So that's why I have one by one. I have taken as a reference over here. This is a t square. And what actually uh, you have to calculate right now, and you have calculated the x-axis, which is the one over t, and now move to the y-axis. So one by one. First, you have to calculate the x, because here x, then you will take one minus x, and this will be the law of natural of this and then you have to multiply minus and the whole, then you have to take another law of nature of the values. So this is all about the calculation. So here, what is the X? X is the, this is the weight loss to the ratio of the weight loss of W naught is the, at the initial and WT, all the values are called the WT. Again, WF is the, the final or the last value uh, at the temperature, which will give you the, the uh, weight loss. And in our case, this is the 76.77, and this is the last value, and it is around 1000 degree centigrade. So now you can calculate W naught minus WT. W naught is this, and when you divide uh, minus this, this will again give you, of course, the value of minus, and again. Uh, w not uh, uh, minus wt on all of the, the values which are given over here uh, on all temperature. So for the 60 degree centigrade, that means now the value is uh, 
98.11 minus 96, then this will give you value of 1.38. And for the next value, again, 98.11 minus 96.18, that will give you 1.93. And similarly to this value, 98.11 minus 95.85, that will give you the value of 2.26. And similar, you have to move to the, the rest of the values. The now calculate the W naught minus WF. W naught is the same, and WF is also a one value, which is the 76.77. And when you uh, subtract uh, that value from here, from this, this will give you 21.34. And actually, the ratio between these two is called the X. And here, uh, you have to calculate the X. That means this divided by this. On all the temperature, you will calculate the x value. So you have calculated the x. Now uh, it is simple to calculate the uh, one minus x. Just you are subtracting all these values from one. You will get the one minus x. And this is required for the the kinetics uh, uh, plot of the kinetics for the first order kinetics. That means you will take the uh, log natural 1 minus x and this is the y-axis for your kinetics calculation which I have explained before but for the thermodynamics parameter now you can take the log natural 1 minus x and then multiply by minus that will give you this value that means you have to take the log natural first of this and then the again log natural of this multiply by minus that will give you this value and uh, 